Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The Case of the Flooded Lag Boiler The new customer, a local school district, called and said the boilers were down and had no heat in one school. I drove there right away. When I arrived, I determined the pilot's solenoid valve was defective on the lead boiler. Tracing the control wiring for the lag boiler, the operating steam pressure control was keeping the boiler off. The operating pressure controls were set for 2 PSI. Glancing at the pressure gauge, I saw the boiler showed 3 PSI pressure. I felt the pipes and they were cold. How do I have pressure on the boiler? The steam riser from each boiler rose about 20 feet. Could it be flooded, I wondered? Holding a yellow number 2 pencil behind the gauge glass, I saw it look to be broken. This indicates the gauge glass is flooded. Opening the boiler drain, I watched gallons of water disappear, water the customer paid to treat. After 20 minutes, I finally saw the water level appear in the gauge glass. The boiler immediately started. The pressure gauge read 0 PSI. As I looked at the steam system, I saw the reason. The boilers did not have high-level spill traps. The high-level spill trap is used to keep the lag boiler from flooding. They are installed about an inch or two above the normal water line. If the water level reaches this elevation, the traps open and drain water from the boiler to maintain the proper water level. The trap discharge is piped to a condensate or boiler feed tank to reuse the water. In this system, the steam from the firing boiler filled the idle boiler. The steam condensed back to water inside the lag or idle boiler. Since the water was trapped inside, the level kept rising. When the elevation of the water rose about 7 feet above the pressure control, the weight of the water column in the pipe fooled the pressure control into thinking the boiler was up to pressure. If you think about a hydronic system, it takes one pound of pressure to raise water 2.3 feet. This column of water kept the spare boiler off. Older steam installations used an equalizing pipe between the boilers that would even the water level between the boilers. This worked great when the boilers had large steam chests and the water level was less critical. The water level in the newer style steam boilers is vital and cannot tolerate wide swings in the water level. A one ounce difference between the boilers would mean a water level difference of about an inch and a three quarter. That may be enough to affect the operation. The way to repair this situation is to install high level spill traps. After explaining the situation and showing them the boiler code, they agreed to the work. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com has my monthly blog post on steam systems for breweries, and Fire Ice Heat is my company website. I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.